Hello everyone, myself Shalindra Sulinshi, working as assistant professor in the Department of Pharmacy Chemistry, Kelly College of Pharmacy, Bayagavi. Today we are going to study the preparation of anti-nitrobenzene from nitrobenzene by nitration reaction. It is one of the very important practical in the pharmaceutical organic chemistry 2 of the third semester B pharma. So moving towards the nitration reaction. So the principle involved in the preparation of N-dinitrobenzene is based on the nitration reaction. When the nitrobenzene reacts with the nitrating mixture, undergoes the nitration reaction to give the N-dinitrobenzene. So here the nitrating mixture may be composed of the concentrated acid. Here we are going to have the concentrated HNO3 and concentrated H2O support. This acts as the nitrating mixture which is going to be liberate the NO2 group that is called as an electrophile. This electrophile replaces the one of the nuclear hydrogen from the nitrobenzene and gives the m dinitrobenzene Coming towards the nitration, definition of nitration. So nitration it is one of the very important reaction which belongs to the class of electrophilic substitution reaction and which replaces the one of the nuclear hydrogen from the uh, starting product or the precursor to give the nitro compounds. Now next we will study what is this ESR. So ESR stands for the electrophilic substitution reaction. Here we are going to generate the electrophile which will substitute the one of the nuclear hydrogen and gives the reaction product and the reaction is called as an electrophilic substitution reaction. So this is the principle involved in the preparation of m nitro basis by the nitration reaction. So one more time, I will explain this. When the nitrobenzene reacts with the nitrating mixture, it undergoes the nitration reaction to give the m dinitrobenzene Now next we will move towards the practical aspect of the reaction. So just I will explain, then we will move towards the practical part. So here we have to take 2 ml of nitrobenzene in the beaker and separately we have to measure the nitrating mixture. The quantity uh, to be taken is 12 ml of concentrated HNO3 and 20 ml of concentrated H2 support. So this mixture has to be prepared into conical cast. Once the mixture has to be prepared, then drop by drop we have to add the nitrobenzene into the given nitrating mixture and we have to shake it properly. Once the addition of nitrobenzene into the nitrating mixture is done, we have to heat that mixture at 60 degrees Celsius for 5 minutes until the red yellowish film of this nitro uh, nitrating mixture is come out. Once that heating is over, we have to replace the, remove the solution from the water bath and we have to add this pour this mixture into the ice cold water and during the pouring there will be the separation of this uh, m dinitrobenzene will taking place once that preparation is over we have to filter the solution we have to recrystallize by using the ethanol uh, or alcohol then once the recrystallization is over we have to dry the product and we have to determine the melting point and the chemical taste and the product can be characterized and it can be submitted also, the theoretical yield for the m nitrobenzene can be calculated with the help of the nitrobenzene and the per practical yield can be weighed followed by the percentage yield can be calculated. The percentage yield of this m nitrobenzene can be calculated by using the formulas percentage yield equal to practical yield divided by theoretical yield multiplied by yield and the product can be submitted with report. Now next we will move towards the practical part. So next moving towards the uh, practical aspect, so requirement is that uh, we have to first prepare the nitrating mixture. So nitrating mixture may be composed of the uh, concentrated acids. Here we have taken the 12 ml of concentrated HO3 and 20 ml of concentrated h 2 support. So this mixture has to be prepared and the addition of this uh, mixture or the nitrating mixture preparation can be done in the fuming food. Followed by we require the nitrobenzene. So we have to measure the 2 ml of nitrobenzene in the separate Beaker. So already we have uh, measured the 2 ml of nitrobenzene uh, in the beaker. Also we require the uh, heating uh, bath assembly. So already water bath can be prepared uh, for the heating. And after the uh, heating uh, we require the ice cold water. So one of the uh, nitrating mixture in the nitrobenzene have been heated. We have to pour the mixture into the ice cold water. So this is regarding the requirement of this uh, practical. Uh, next we will just uh, start with the practical. So already I have uh, prepared the nitrating mixture. So I am going to add this nitrobenzene into the uh, this nitrating mixture drop wise with continuous stirring.
addition of nitrobenzene into the nitrating mixture uh, is over. Now we have to heat this mixture for 5 minutes at 60 degrees Celsius in the water bath. Now just we will go for the heating. Of this nitrogen mixture, nitrogen is over. Uh, we have to add this nitrogen mixture or uh, pour this nitrogen mixture with the nitrogen into the ice cold water.